Welcome to Morris Hall, room 165. This is a brief rundown on how the audio video system works in here. At the front podium at the teacher station, in the left hand portion over here is our controller. This is going to control the projector and also the different sources that we send to the screen. In the upper left hand part is the projector on, projector off buttons. Right now off is highlighted and if I just press the on button, that's going to power up the projector. It takes about a minute for the projector to warm up, so we're going to try and not switch anything while that's happening. So while I'm waiting for it to warm up, I'm going to pull the keyboard tray out and go ahead and log on to the computer. I'm going to follow the directions on the screen, press Control alt delete to begin, then read the responsible use and click OK. I'll use my 8.4 username, it's just like the first part of your UWL email address. And then I'll use my UWL net ID for the password, and I'll log on to the Eagle domain. Press OK, and that's going to get me onto the computer system. After that, to make sure that the computer is showing up on the projector, I'll go back over to the controller and on the right hand side, the very first one here is labeled PC, and so I'll hit the PC button, and in just a second, the PC shows up on the screen. The document camera is located on the right hand side of the desk, and I'll hit the power button until the power button turns green. Then it's going to go through its cycle and you'll know that its power cycle has uh, completed when this light in the middle here is powered on as a solid green. Your zoom and your focus are going to be on the right hand side. And if I put something on here and press the document camera button on the controller, then the document camera is going to show up on the screen for us. There's a DVD VCR located in the bottom part of the desk here. I've loaded a DVD already. If you wanted to use a VHS tape, you would press the little video button down here. And a DVD tape, or a DVD, you're going to want to make sure that the DVD is pressed. Then we go over to the controller and select VCR for our source. And then I'll either use the remote control located on the desk, or I'll press the play button right on the front of the unit, and that's going to play our movie. The volume control is located on the left hand side here. If I turn it to the left, the volume goes down, and if I turn it to the right, the volume goes up. So you can adjust it to the right level. And that volume control will be used for any source that you have, whether you're using a video off the PC, off your laptop, or you're playing something else. The last thing to go through is the laptop. On the middle of the desk are all the connections you need to connect your laptop. There's the video cable, which I'll plug into the side of my laptop here, and an audio cable, which I'll plug into the headphone jack. And any device with a headphone jack can have that audio cable plugged into it. And as long as you select laptop on the controller, it's going to switch, whoa, it's going to switch both the video and the audio. And you can just put those right back on there. And then when my laptop comes up, I'm going to make sure that I'm sending the signal not only to my laptop, but also to the screen. And in order to in ensure that that's happening, I'm going to hold down the function key and press the F8 button. On some computers, that will scroll through these options automatically. On mine, it gives me a little menu. I choose the duplicate option, which puts the signal on my laptop and on the screen up in front of the class. When I'm all finished with whatever it is I'm doing, I come back to the upper left here and I press the projector off button. That powers the projector down and helps us to save the bulb. And right here on the desk is a written version of just about everything I've gone through with you. And something important to note is that in the upper right are the names and phone numbers of the Academic Technology Services staff. And if you have any questions or notice any problems or need help in any way, we're happy to help you.